So let's um, think about using these simulations to see the principles behind the shape of the SDOM. One of the things we saw is that sort of no matter what the shape of the parent population What do we find? SDOM tends to be normal. But wait a second, we really only tested that for n of 16, right? Maybe 16 is somehow like special. Maybe there's, um, maybe what about for um, like n's of 2? Is, is this also going to be normal? Well, let's try that. Oh, look. Look at what we see. When the n is very small, this does not tend to be normal. What about an n of 5? Okay, so that looks a little more normal, but not really that nice normal distribution we saw with 16, right? What about 10? Okay, now that's starting to look a little bit more normal, right? So what we see is that as long as n tends to be reasonably large, and you know, I don't know if there's a magic number, but um, as long as n tends to be pretty large, um, you tend to get a normal sampling distribution of the mean, right? So that's definitely one thing. So there's a couple of, um, so there's a couple of conditions, conditions. So these conditions have to be fulfilled before this is true. Um, so samples n, the sample size, must be reasonably large. So 2 is too small. 5 even is a little too small. 10, it starts looking better, but you know. Whatever reasonably large is, it should be reasonably large. A lot of times people use the rule like 40 to be, any n of 40 to be like reasonably large, right? But you know, that's, that's just a rule of thumb. Okay, what else? Um, does it matter, uh, so we looked at sample size, that might be an important thing, but what else might matter? Um, does it matter, uh, what the, uh, how many times we sample. So let's see, um, let, let's clear the bottom three. And uh, let's only do it for five, right? So if we only did the simulation five times, then, um, then we wouldn't get a normal distribution, right? Only when we start doing it like a thousand times, or, um, or 10,000 times rather, or 20,000 times, does it start looking more and more normal, right? So it also s seems to be that the more simulations we have, sort of the better. So if using simulations must have a large number of simulations. So, um, so the, this is true only if n is reasonably large and only if you have a very large number of simulations, if you're using simulations, right? And so um, although this is, uh, this, is, this is really helpful, there are some conditions that you have to meet before you could invoke this. Um, great. So we learned some things from using simulations about the shape of the estimate.